is Thursday, April 17th. I want to share with you a product that's on the market, a vaccine called Vaxilis. I pulled the package insert and here it is. Cool, but not a new vaccine. This has been around since 2021 and you would know this if you actually counseled on vaccines and pulling the insert is not the flex you think it is. Vaccine inserts list everything ever reported, whether or not the vaccine actually caused it. It's a legal document. It's a legal document, not a medical document. Yes, it may say things like apnea or seizures, which we'll get into, but so does your wine label, may cause health problems, but you're still drinking that Pinot, aren't you? Reading without context isn't research, it's fear with a red pen. Want to actually understand it? Watch my YouTube video here. This is insane. This vaccine has six vaccines in one. Diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, haemophilus B, and hepatitis B. It's not insane, it's efficient. One needle, combination vaccines are not new and they mean fewer pokes, less ingredients overall, fewer stabilizers and preservatives and better protection with less delay. And if you're worried about chemicals, combination vaccines should be your best friend. But let's be clear that even single ingredient vaccines are not causing a toxic load. First of all, they tell us that epinephrine and other appropriate agents and equipment must be available for immediate use if you're going to be giving this vaccination. Yes, that's standard for all vaccines or any medication with even a rare chance of allergic reaction. It's called being prepared, not a red flag. That's why vaccines are given by a licensed professional. This vaccine is indicated for six weeks old through four years old. Correct, because that's the window when babies are most vulnerable to the diseases we're trying to prevent. Early protection equals early defense, and this isn't new or controversial. It's just smart timing. It goes on to say a review by the Institute of Medicine found evidence for a causal, not correlation, causal relationship between tetanus toxoid, one of the components, and both brachial neuritis and Guillain-Barre syndrome. Yep, rarely. These associations have been studied for decades. This isn't the aha moment they want it to be. And spoiler, natural infections you get from the community are more likely to cause Guillain-Barre or brachial neuritis than vaccines are. It also says apnea, that's difficulty breathing, you kind of stop breathing, following intramuscular vaccination has been observed in some infants. Yes, in preemies. And that's why pediatricians weigh risk and benefit carefully for all children. This isn't a vaccellus specific issue. It's a general vaccine consideration for a very specific group. And this is a situation where having protection over these illnesses for a vulnerable group will always trump small risk of vaccination. First of all, studies that brought this product to market, there is not a single randomized controlled study with an inert placebo. It's only tested against other vaccinations. Correct. And we've talked about this before, because when effective vaccines already exist, it's unethical to withhold protection just to use saline. Instead, Vaxellus was tested against existing licensed vaccines, a gold standard when placebo isn't appropriate. That doesn't mean it wasn't tested. It just means ethics trump everything. Ingredients. You're going to love this. 319 micrograms of aluminum is used as an adjuvant. That is, it stimulates the immune system to wake up to the antigens that are in this vaccine. Other ingredients, formaldehyde, bovine serum albumin, that's albumin or protein that comes from cows. Then they put some antibiotics in here, neomycin, streptomycin, polymyxin B. Let's break this one all the way down. And for the deep dive on vaccine ingredients, go watch my YouTube video. But here's the quick hit. Aluminum, 319 microgram, that's 0.319 milligrams. Compare that to seven milligrams from breast milk in six months, 38 milligrams from formula, and combo vaccines equals less aluminum overall than giving each shot separately. For example, giving Hib alone is 0.5 milligrams and the Vaxellus combo is less. Formaldehyde, tiny trace left from the manufacturing process, less than what naturally circulates in your own body. Antibiotics used in micro amounts to prevent bacterial contamination in these vaccines. Remember, there's a reason for these ingredients and they're not being manufactured in a garage like a meth lab in Breaking Bad. There's oversight and regulation. Axilis has not been evaluated for carcinogenic or mutagenic potential or impairment of fertility. Most vaccines and medications aren't tested for those things unless there's a specific reason. There is zero evidence that Vaxellus affects cancer risk, fertility, or DNA. Zero. Remember that inserts are legal documents and not medical ones, and they will list anything and everything without clinical context.
Combination vaccines like Vaxellus means fewer shots, fewer ingredients, less aluminum, and faster protection when babies need it the most. Other common combo vaccines in the United States are Pediarix, Penticel, and Kinrix, all ones I routinely recommend and I've given my own children. Please don't let someone with a red pen and a PDF convince you that medicine is a conspiracy. Save this, share it with a friend, and check the caption for more breakdowns that you can actually trust.